Jay Durbin, are you there? Hello. Hello, Demolic Mother. How are you? I am fine. Um, real quick question. Uh, Jay Durb, what are your pronouns? Um, he, him. Okay. All right. So, uh, props for coming on. Most people are way too uh, cowardly to actually show up and argue with me. So, this will be real, real interesting. Um, I, know, see, I, I look think you a big brained engagement in the free marketplace of ideas. Um, yeah. and maybe I could like rewind you just like a little bit. Sure. My beloved, my darling. Earlier on, you were going on and on about Cuba. Um, how uh -huh. do you say that? You said, quote, Cuba is a success. Can you like clarify what you mean by success for me? Um, actually, I believe I said it all depends on how you um, how you uh, define success. I think it's pretty hard to argue that a country that's managed to keep its people uh, fed, housed, and taken care of uh, health-wise, uh, especially in the face of a decades-long embargo from the epicenter of trade in the world, is a failure. Now, there are some arguments but that, um, that I think you could make against Cuba. For example, I think their record on um, certain humans, human rights issues, particularly LGBT rights, although that is does seem to be changing these days. We'll see how it goes. Um, does uh, you know is worthy of criticism, but I don't think that um, j just blanket calling Cuba a communist, an explicitly communist country, a failure is fair. And that's something I see in these kind of um, like uh, historically illiterate uh, lib lib shit uh, videos all the time. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's fair enough, but then, like, what can I then do to say that a country is a failure? I, in my mind, I compare it to other countries in the comparable region. So I would look to say, okay, well, let's compare Cuba to Brazil. Let's compare Cuba to Argentina. Let's see how it is doing to its non-communist neighbors. And you do say, you think, okay, well, obviously Cuba it is lagging behind. Do you think comparable to Brazil? Um, same hemisphere. Why not? Wait. So then what? do you think that Greenland is comparable to America? Because we're in the same I think hemisphere. Green, I think Greenland's pretty comparable to a European economy. Why can't I compare, I don't know, Cuba and another uh, I mean, South American that's economy? that's phenomenally dumb. You do realize that. I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous. You do realize okay, that Brazil is, a, Brazil is like one of, the, first of all, one of the largest countries on the planet. Massive okay, population. We're, we're, huge land mass. Like, t like 10 times the size of Cuba. Cuba is an island down? nation. Compared can we not scale down? Can we not do like percentage-wise comparisons? Like we can compare I mean, a small could, country to a big country. but you said comparable nations, comparable neighbors, and you picked, yeah. some, you picked a place that's not even in the same fucking region what do you mean same region the same hemisphere do you think right? wait wait does that north america do you that's think not comparable then, do you think then that like uh india and australia are 100 are like directly comparable to one another oh my god then who can i compare cuba to uh, i don't know why I don't can... you pick another uh, why don't you pick i mean another it, Caribbean it, nation? Like, it, it is quite rude to me that you say Compar well, i can't i can't i, I, think I, I really funny. can't no, define I think it's success funny that you what do you mean yeah, you say you can't define success when i ask you okay well how, well how can i define success via comparison you actually there's no comparison you can make yes there is there are all entities. kinds of like, I, okay, then who can, I, who can I compare it to? There's all kinds you could compare it to. You could compare like it to what? another island another island nation of the same size, okay. a similar size. Yeah, absolutely. And also, like what, what are you measuring for? If you're, I know you're getting like mad about uh, my response to this other person's video, but this vi video did not present any arguments. There were no comparisons made. In fact, this this just absolutely crater brain take from this from this vegan person was was making an argument that all examples of communism have failed and that's just simply not true like even um, no just just the overwhelming majority uh, yeah no not really actually i mean it, again well, it, I, well, it well, all well, depends well, here, on how here, you define we, all depends on how you define we success. have comparison really we have because of course the 20th century happens so we have comparison mm, right in many really. cases we actually have like direct comparisons mm, north korea really. south korea West North Germany, Korea East Germany, we Wait have a a direct comparisons North of these competing Korea and systems. South Korea? There is no debate on this. There, and Wait, there's what do you mean there's no, no okay, debate? Okay, okay, you're going 100 miles an hour and you're spitting okay, out sorry, the same stupid moronic bullshit that this person was doing in okay, their video as well. Pop off. What are you confused about? It's not, it, what I, say, I, what I promise I you there is absolutely you. nothing I'm confused about and I think you're probably the most confused person here. First of all, if you think that I'm a tanky, you're barking up the wrong tree because I'm not even close to an off Adjacent. Not even close. Well, you're certainly an apologist for like like um, genocidal regimes. Aside from that, maybe no. I'm, do you have any? I, I don't know where you are in the tag sphere, but you're 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 somewhere in like the gravitational like, I'm pull. I'm going to be completely honest. Period. You sound like a tr like like a completely triggered little baby right now. So maybe you should Probably. dial it down a little bit and try and actually understand. Am I not allowed to, to have my passions flare? Please don't passion police me, Queen. I'm ready here to engage in the free marketplace you're of ideas. You're here to make, me you're here to make my audience cringe as it, as it turns out. Like, holy fucking shit. This is one of That's the cringiest engagements I've ever had. Am I the mad one? Am I the... Go on. I mean, 
Yeah, you do seem to be. I mean, you accuse me. Of I mean, I don't know. You are. You every accuse single me, word you say me, is literally me, dripping. You accuse dripping me. Of spite. You okay, accuse cool, me queen. of making apologia for genocidal regimes, and that is not you the do? case. You do. You. You just did. No, I literally didn't. Give okay. me an example of one that I did. Yeah, weren't you just like denying the no, Holodomor no, like two minutes ago? Denying the Holodomor? Do you listen? Can you give me? Can you give me a quote for that? I would love to hear you. <laughs> Sorry. I would love to maybe, hear maybe, you. Maybe I'm fuddled. I don't know. I just saw you like um someone just played like a like a screen like what was it a best of communist genocide? You're like, well, this is actually contested by who? Contested by who? Not by any serious people, I imagine. What do you she, mean? The, the, you are the, definitely. Wait, an, excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry. Apologist. All right. Do you want? Do you want an answer for this question, or are you just here to go like <laughs> and do your little laugh? Why can't I do both? Because uh, I do both? it's pathetic and sad. Um, and, and here's what I'm gonna say. Here's go what I'm gonna say. So first of all, in the video, it would be really amazing. I know that, like, I don't know, maybe, are you like a stan of this vegan or something? Because you seem to be capable of actually analyzing. Okay, I don't well, know. Then that makes this her. almost more almost more pathetic. Yeah, this is the Nigel Thornberry debate true. Um, but, uh, <laughs> so yeah. hateful. Yeah, <laughs> it's fucking Nigel. You, and yeah, I can do the armworm thing too, you know? Um, oh my God. But yeah, uh, let me let me just say, first of all, in that, in that particular section, she showed a bunch of random contextless pictures of what appeared to be black and white photos of like Russian people suffering. You're doing the meme. I'm You're doing the meme. What meme? Walking into Nipton context. Maybe the Nipton eyes deserve that. You're doing the literal meme. Okay, go off. What is the meme? Can you describe the meme to me? I would the love to like, know okay. what the meme is. And just like, okay, well, they're genociding ethnic minorities. What's the context of them genociding ethnic minorities? That's I don't know, not what I'm talking actually about. Deserve it? If you okay, actually, you if you actually about, watch the video or paid attention at all, which it's clear that okay, you have Okay, then haven't. you're just dog whistling it. Then you're just There's doing no the typical tangy thing here. where you just dog whistle. There is go, literally well, actually, zero dog whistling. Oh, hold on, this is just like contested. Then you're just like, okay, That's not what I was that. talking about. This what I was talking about is breezing over. And if, in fact, if you go back and watch my segment, you'll see that I literally said that you're that she was breezing over the entire history of a country because as as it turns out, I actually looked at the things that I'm reviewing, which is like something that you came in here not having done. Um, okay. You didn't actually listen to a single thing that was said. You just had your own little like, oh, I hate tankies. And then you came on here. But in reality, there were multiple pictures and only the last one that was even showed there had anything to do with the Hol Holodomor. There was multiple pictures of just like random, random shit that happened in Russia. Random communist atrocities of which you were offered Wait, apology random, for. I going, don't even know what, what the events were. What's the were? context for Wait, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I have a question for you. I have a very serious okay. question right here oh, do you think that all of russia is forever without any context forever to, to be denounced as a genocidal only ever does genocide do you think anything that ever happened in russia in the giant country that's been around for thousands of years do you think that anything bad that has ever happened there is automatically communist genocide because that's the argument you're making to me right now I think when you genocide the Kulaks for being class traitors, yes. Good thing yes, we weren't that, just and talking and about and that, 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 were we? Instance. Good thing we weren't even okay, talking okay, about so that. Aside from the notable ones, aside from the notable, yeah, I okay, suppose. Okay, so you're just an idiot, I suppose and you that, actually I suppose, came in here, there was, just, like, just like this fucking person that you're you standing mean? for, you came in here alleging things that you even, didn't even think through. I don't know her. I don't know her. I'm Mariah Carey. Wow. I don't damn. actually know who that woman is. That's but pathetic. you seem a little... <laughs> Why are you so mad? I'm just here to have a little banter. Come on now. I mean, what um, is this? Wait a minute. You're doing the thing now. Now it's funny. Now you're doing the meme. You're doing the little like. I mean, it's really we funny. Wait, are you? Are you Milo Yiannopoulos by any chance? No, I'm just. I'm okay, just. Because you seem to be I'm, copying I'm, yeah. his performance from his last debate that he did with uh, Jangle Science Lad, where he was like, oh, "You seem so mad," while he's literally dabbing tears out of his eyes because he was getting owned so hard. First of all. Let's turn it down a little bit. I think, I think, I think the heat has risen. The heat has risen a bit too much. Listen, I just get a little triggered by this. Okay, just because I'm like very feminine, like you came in, vaguely English sounding. You came in, you came in, accusing me of apologia for genocidal regimes, and you also called me a tank. You have done. I have not done a single thing. I have literally not done that. Your argument was literally instantly proven wrong. On text. Me, me, me walking into the Holocaust Museum. Context? I'm not denying it, but context? That's we literally not story? what I did at all. Are there no genocides in Germany which weren't motivated by Nazism? Wow, that's some generalization. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Do you, if I do you said, understand what you're saying? Hold, hold on a second. Wild let, me try and make a, let me try and make an equivalent argument because I know that you're struggling with like understanding how arguments flow and like how Explain they to come me. to make sense. Yeah. If I was Tell to, me. If, if, yeah, exactly. If I was to talk, be talking about uh, 
we can never be a Germany ever again. And that was the argument I was making. And I said, hey, look at all these pictures of bad things that happened in Germany. And I had pictures from 1300, 1600, 1800s. And then I had pictures at the very end of the Holocaust. And then I, and then that, the person who I was talking to said, hey, don't you feel like it's a little bit weird to brush over the entire history of the, of the history of Germany? And then another person, you, a third party, came in and went, you're doing apologia by saying that a country has historical context. That is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard, and it is not the own that you think it is. Now, demonic mother, we have to be honest. You didn't. They did, that woman did she? I didn't. I didn't watch the entire video, but I she didn't, didn't show. Like, she didn't show videos used... of like. She didn't show videos of like medieval Germany. She showed like atrocities that happened during the USSR, and you're like, what's this? She showed Straight a bunch of, the CIA of she literally showed a bunch of contextless pictures, half of which are on the screen, not Context. even long enough for you to actually know what they are. It's funny. If you, you know, if, wait, if wait, hold you on, hold on, hold on a second. Wait, 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 Jay Durf, go back Jay Durf, listen, yeah? listen, your mic is too shitty for you to pull off the same little thing that I do. I know you want to like copy my style or whatever, but but it doesn't work when you have a shitty ass, shit ass mic. So I can I not imitate? Bit. First of all, leave my razor alone. I got it off Amazon. Ooh, razor, leave my pick. fantastic Ooh, razor alone. Pick. Razors are fucking <laughs> razors are idiot big. Yeah, it's for it's when you when you think you want to buy something that looks cool, but you're too stupid to know that it's actually not technically good. It but, was um, on sale. Oof, on. damn. Uh, penny pension. Uh, listen. Um, <laughs> the uh, when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to the Holodomor, you could have come in here and just asked my thoughts on the Holodomor if you had any interest in actually engaging in in like good faith whatsoever. But you came in here calling me a tanky and saying I'm apologizing for that. The fact of the True. matter is, I think the Holodomor was a fucking terrible event. I fucking hate Stalin. Are you kidding me? I literally have had multiple, like, if you knew a single thing about what, what you were talking about when you strode in here, you would know that I've had multiple debates with tankies over their apologia for Stalin. So you're just barking up such a wrong tree that it's hilarious. But you're doing the same thing. I'm not you doing the same, the same thing. thing they do. Not except even close. Except not even close. No, attacking. see, because your brain is too, your brain is so addled. To stand in their position. Your you're brain just, is so addled that you can't believe. You're Weasley tacky is what you are. You think I'm a weasel? Sorry, wait, oh my god. You, so, yeah, wait, you're not brave so you're, to hold, wait, the hold on a second. Yeah. Do you think, you think that my position is that I'm a secret tanky pretending to be a lefty who leans anarchist, which is how I always describe myself, and I talk about anarchic solutions all the time, and you walk in here and watch one stream and you think I'm being a weaselly tanky because you're too stupid to understand that there are two different arguments being made and that you actually didn't listen close enough? No, but it certainly makes you someone who engages in communist apologetics, which is wait, what wait, you do. Wait, wait, now you've changed what it is. Apo now you've okay, changed sorry, the accusation. Someone who, <laughs> someone who apologizes for communist genocide, uh, human rights abuses. Are you yeah, a that's Nazi by are. any chance? Nazi. Are you a Nazi? Define that. Context. Oh, context no. Context for that accusation. Context. You, you, didn't, you context? could just say no. It would be really easy. Are you a Nazi? No. Are you sure? What are your Pretty thoughts sure. about Jewish people? I love them. I like Israel. Mm. Mm. Well, what else? What's on the checklist? My dude, that's not a good look. Oh shit! Well, liking you are is, Nazi, liking aren't Israel. You? Holy fucking shit! By the way, it's really funny. I thought nuking really, Israel was your thing. It's really, really funny. It's really. Isn't funny. that what you and Vosh do? Talk about nuking Israel and like go ahead and like uh, wait, wait, dog wait, excuse whistle violence against Jews? What you the fuck? Who, what is that? I'm sorry. Who did you say? Vosh. Do you know? Who, do you know who I am? I think you are the Vosh adjacent queen, perhaps. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, another uh, this is this is really funny. It's like it's it's really funny because like my stream go on. I'm sorry. What was that? I'm sorry. I said go on. Yeah, you don't you, you don't need to pop in to tell me that I, I know when I can <laughs> um, Sorry, but yeah, it, it's it's really funny uh, It appears that people who are like like too scared or stupid to to argue with Vosh They'll come onto my show and think that they can like get at Vosh by talking to me I'm an independent person and also it's really funny because I don't think I've ever had a take on Israel ever And so like you coming in and like alleging some sort of weird guilt of by Israel? association. What do I think of Israel? Does, there, does Israel have a right to exist? What do you think about Jewish people? Can you tell me that real quickly? Yeah, I are, think... you, are you an anti-Semite? No, I'm not. It's really easy for me to answer that. Although I'll note that mm -hmm. when I asked you if you were a Nazi, you uh, you we weaseled out of it and then didn't and then found a way to not say that you weren't a Nazi. <laughs> I just found it now, funny. I'm not a Nazi. 
I think that the, wait, wait, I, wait, 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 wait. Does Israel, does Israel, does Israel have a right to exist? Does Israel have a right to exist? All, all, yes. all people have a right to exist. Of course they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. So Weasley. How's that They're Weasley so at all? Weasley. How's that Weasley at all? This is like me saying, um, do you think Black Lives Matter? I think all lives matter. It's like, no. I think all wait, people have I a right Israel to exist. Do I think Israel has a right to exist? Of course it does. Of course it does. What are you talking about? Okay, pop off. So I was expecting something Pop outside off. of you. What are you fucking talking about? This is unhinged. I was expecting something outside of you. You've People in your spirit tend to get very scary well, I'm very I'm sorry, quickly. I'm sorry. You've come in here to, to accuse a bunch of things and do like a really, really fucking dollar store Milo impersonation. And then you're like, oh, Period. pop off. When I'm just like answering things easily. But when I ask you if you're a Nazi, you immediately, <laughs> you immediately splat <laughs> and you struggle. It's just so funny. Yeah, bootleg Milo for it's, sure. It's like, it's like you okay. wanted to go like uh, down this like weird, like real cringy 20 questions with me. I mean, like, damn. you came on like, to like, talk like, with like, me like, and you, like you I, failed uh, on every like single Like you are the spider and I'm like about to fall into your web. You're not as clever as you think you are. Okay. Do you have any, um, do you have anything to like, I mean, you've smuckled a lot, but do you have anything? I mean, I have, I have, I'm sorry. I will try to stop doing that. I will apologize. It is kind of cringe. Um, I'm not going to lie. Thank you. Yeah. Well, well you know, you know about being cringe, but, um, do generally I, I we, I'd like to go back to the substance of the issue. I feel like I'm issue. doing pretty good right now. Honestly, like, I don't know, like chat. What do you think? Do you guys think it's cringe right now? Who do you think is the most my, cringe? Hello, my chat. Do you think I'm cringe or not? Hey, I don't know. My chat loves me. Do you have Period. a chat? Do you have a chat? No. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Damn. No, Sucks one, to be one you, day, I guess. I, one day Sucks I too to aspire you, to be a, a middling viewer streamer. Uh, one day I too aspire. Middling viewer? Yeah, nice try. Uh, when you, <laughs> get back to me. Get back to me. Get, oh. Hey, hey, get back to me. When you, get back to me when you have a, uh, when you got a channel and then we'll talk, okay? What, do you want to talk, do you want to talk about communism? Uh, communism? Yeah, I mean, sure. I, I, you want to talk mean, about communism? Go I mean, for it. Let's, let's, do it. Let's, this, see, like... let's see how much more, like, like, you know, like, are you practicing for your, like, for your, like, uh, Santa, Santa job? Is that what you got coming up this winter? Because that's Sorry, you are just like, on, yeah. you are just unironically sending me. But, yeah, um, yeah, I mean, seems been, to be working. Wait, what, what is, what is your, what is your stance on communism? Why do you think communism failed? Um, because you know, at a certain point in like human history, why over fifty percent of the, or, over fifty percent of all humanity lived under varying forms of communism. So why is it, in your opinion, that it failed, or ceased to be? Uh, I don't think it ceased to be. I don't think that communism has ever been achieved uh, in full. Um, but if you want to know why, like, a specific country failed, um, I think we could talk about that really easily. Um, uh, I think that, uh, God, there's a lot to talk about there. One of the things I hate is that people say, oh, communism failed. And what they actually mean is that they're just sort of lumping every single country that's ever claimed to be communist into all of communism failing. But I, I don't know. Um, I don't think that's, like, a really good way of doing it do you want to talk about like a specific country um well we started at like over half of like all humanity so it seems to me that like i don't see why that pool isn't big enough for you to draw from no I just wait you came on here saying you wanted to talk about shit so what what country do you want to talk okay, about okay I, sh I should i should be really clear really clear because you're because in your spirit like we're not really like clear in the i mean it would be words, nice right? if you it would be like, nice like, if you would make some sense that's a good I way will, to, to have I a conversation will. yeah when we say communism we're talking about socialist societies in some form with the aspirations of being communist sure. okay mm -hmm. so we're talking about the ussr okay. um that's one yeah the general wider sphere first world second world the Cold general what sort of jazz um the general I know what it's called what was it called it was like first world second world third world it was called like um the free world versus the something or world i don't really know I don't know what communists were okay, called during that like time. It sounds like I'm going to be completely honest. I don't feel like you're equipped to actually have a historical discussion about any of these countries. Which one? Any of them. <laughs> How? If you can't even remember the terms that you're going to use to describe them, that seems like you're not quite ready to discuss them. I just I don't know what the communist world called themselves during the time. Yeah, well, was it just hey, communist? Guess what? I don't fun, know. Fun fact: there wasn't a there isn't never been a single block of communism. Now, you could argue the Soviet Union was a solid block of federated countries, um, but there has never been a single unilateral communism, just like there's never been a single unilateral unilateral capitalism. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what we had the second world. We had communist countries. We had the second yeah, but, world, but which were like affiliated, right? Even within those countries, right? there, was never, there was never a single, there was never a single, uh, like, 
sphere of influence. Uh, for example, China is independent from Russia, and they've had their own conflicts with one another, even though they were somewhat allied when it came to having a, a shared enemy in the United States. But these countries conflicted all the time, and it's these conflicts still rage to this day. Like you have just like like an idiot's understanding of history, much like the vegan that we were watching who you got mad about before. And that's what I usually I find. I usually find that people come in here mega triggered and are really really super mad and want to come on and and talk all kinds of shit and call everyone a tanky or whatever without actually knowing anything usually have no understanding of history like their understanding of history is like something along the lines of like johnny appleseed went all over america throwing apples and the trees popped up and that's how apples were made and that's like your entire understanding of world history is like some like cartoon children's book version of history okay um well to quote you a few minutes ago uh -huh. that isn't quite the junk you think about it i don't know why you think it is that saying oh well under communism we get a bunch of like ideological diversity therefore well how could you say communism failed I don't really see how that helps you in any way, in a tangible way. Well, no, I'm because just surely... saying if you have an example, if you have an example of a country that was claimed to be communist and why they failed, I'd be more than happy to discuss it. I do this all the time. This is something I do in my okay. content all the time. In fact, I've discussed what the reason, part of the reasons why I think um, even communist parties here in the United States have failed. This is something I discuss very frequently. In fact, I think it's important. But you wouldn't know that because you're an idiot and you came in here talking like mad shit. You're so easy. Why won't you just engage in the actual topic? I, I am engaging I in the exact actual topic. It's not it. my fault you don't even know how to question the topic because you're it. too stupid <laughs> to even know what to ask. At a certain stage of human history, over half the human race lived under communism. I don't want to talk about individual countries. Half of all humanity lived under varying forms of your system. Why did that fail? I don't think they lived under various for varying forms of my system. What do you mean? I don't think they did at all. I don't think that any of these countries even came close to achieving what they call communism. I don't even think they came close they to achieving socialism. To I think some of them they aspired they aspire to, to be and some of them failed. And there are different reasons why some of them failed. And I think others have had more success than others. For example, I think that Cuba has had a measurable amount of success, although they've had some serious failures as well, just as many other countries have. Unlike you, I don't see the entire world in a simple black and white, uh, this, is the this is the good side that I like, this is the bad side I don't like. I actually look at the history of these countries and try to figure out what political things happened. And I so see, and what I see is from people like you and from this vegan person is that they say things like communism, has failed everywhere it's tried while ignoring any of the actual countries that have managed to, to bring their people a good quality of life and uh and have managed to uh solve some of the problems that they set out to solve even if they haven't achieved full communism which i don't think is an easy thing to um to achieve i think it's a very can difficult you, thing can, I, can, can i ask you a quick question do sure. you think it is unfair of me to say that if all these countries which say they have an we'll say they have a bedrock of marxism and an mm. overall total goal of being communist one day but mm -hmm. it's the transition stage in which they're stuck on mm -hmm. why do i why can i not why are they not interchangeable why can i not say the communist world what's wrong with that if they have the single thread running through every single because country? they don't have a single thread that just shows that you don't actually know communism what marxism they, but they don't even but they don't even have those same threads like not even close do you real you do realize that the ussr was tate was run by stalin stalin who created a new version of marxism that he called marxism leninism which was not not, it was neither written by Marx nor by Lenin. He took his own, it was, it was he literally transition. published his own version of theory. Like, and so did Mao. This is where, this is where the Mao, where Maoism came from. Maoism was yeah. taking, was, he took, uh, Marxism, Leninism from, um, from Stalin and then adapted it and added his own teachings to it. These were totally different things. This isn't even like uh, in many cases. What, what's, it's, it's, what's the argument here? Wait, what's is the argument? The argument, argument is that these, they, no, no, they, the argument is that these are very the different approaches. Therefore, they fail. What is the argument you're making? Wait, the, the argument that I'm making is that you don't know what you're even asking. You're saying you don't actually understand what any of these countries' histories are. You've never made an attempt to actually understand. I what, have literally done. Even if you redefine Marx, you are working from a bedrock of Marxism. How am I, even, if you, even if you even if you adopt if you adapt Marx, you are still aspiring one day to be a classless, stateless, moneyless well, society. Sure. And many of them I have, think that is many a of those countries have failed, and other ones have made. Systems. And uh, many of those countries have failed, and others did not. For, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a case that some have failed and some did not. Yeah, the some vast have failed and some majority, not. The vast majority have failed. We have to abandon the system really? entirely. Do you really think that's the case? <laughs> How is I mean, it not? Right which now, countries, which I mean, countries are not? Like, I mean, we can get into a discussion about, like, I would say the best best example of this is probably China, right? I mean, China is, uh, at least at least if we're going by your definition of communism, 
uh, successfully thriving as a, as a communist nation to this day. Now, I would argue, because I actually know what I'm talking about, I would actually argue that China isn't a communist nation. Um, and there's no, actually a very, very solid argument for why that's the case. However, based I'm using your argument here because, you know, okay. I'm trying to extend that olive branch to somebody who clearly doesn't understand what they're talking about. But using your definition, I would argue <laughs> that base. China is actually doing fucking crazy good. And it looks like they might even outpace us. And True. that means, oh, holy shit. Damn, I guess communism is doing pretty good by your definition so even that's your why, definition that's why i clarified so no 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 no, 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 no listen listen your definition is nonsensical it. and stupid it's basically just communism is things i don't like and that is bad and I, things i do like are not communism that's what you've come in here with and what's your take Co you are making this like it's the like communism does not exist I'll talk about individual countries. I'll talk about these ways, like individual things where I can like yeah. bog you down in them in like the minor yeah, details. Yeah, because you, you want to know what I like about, to talk about? I'm I like not to talk about, about minor details. I like to talk Half about all the entire human race lived under some variation of your system at a period in history and it collapsed. And you, instead of dealing with it, but you'll just I just showed the you that by your your definition of cap of communism, that is not true. China did not collapse. China is a they powerhouse right now. It's they a world powerhouse. It, yeah. They didn't abandon it. They are still they are still a democratic centralist country. They didn't abandon your definition of communism. They're succeeding under your definition of communism. Oh now, my god, yeah, dude. They, they they just embraced markets, did like multilateral international trade agreements, all these like very like well known communist things. Damn. This is such like a like like a brain dead. I mean, tiny you're the one. I'm, I'm actually, you, that's actually your like definition. Quaking. You're saying I'm actually if, you can't listen. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't say half the world lives under communism and then also say, but China actually isn't technically communist, which means that, that half the world didn't live under communism. You have to choose one or the other. Do you understand that? This is how thinking works. Why do you not acknowledge the system collapsing can sometimes mean that system abandoning itself? Like, what do you mean, dude? I mean, like, I would it's, argue it's that, like, like you're like 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 saying to me that, like, Poland is still communist because Poland still exists. No. Like, what do you no, mean? No, because I, I, if, you were, you if we were to switch over to talking about, say, the USSR, under under both of our definitions, I would argue that communism did collapse in the USSR. And there's wildly complex reasons for why that happened, because it's a country that literally rep is, is the entire northern section of Asia— and there's a lot to talk about what went wrong there ideologically and politically and economically, but that's a very complicated discussion, which I recognize all the time and discuss with. That doesn't mean that then I- Why can't you have it? What do you mean? Why is it that every time I try to engage you on it, you're like, well, what country? Let's talk no, wait, about like small, because, like, like wait, micro individual. Like, why because, can't you have the broader because, discussion? Wait a second. That's because of you. You're the reason why we can't have this conversation. Because <laughs> I know the way that listen, listen, down listen, down I know you want to go and, and try and desperately save face here. But in reality, <laughs> what? The, the fact of the matter is, is that multiple wild. times here, we I have offered you a way for us to talk about something specific, and instead you just go, oh, half the world lived under communism, and that's about yes, all that you can engage say. engage with that. Engage with that. That's a, that's a good starting I point. I think engage that claim that. is incorrect. There you go. Bam. Done. She was incorrect. Yeah, I think your claim is incorrect. Because, of course, communism has ideological variations, in which case I can say that actually, in the modern world, most of us, like, um, actually the neoliberal world doesn't really hey, exist. Hey, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, really on. hold on, my friend. You were stumbling oh. so much, I literally couldn't understand what you were saying. Take a deep breath, calm down. I know this is probably your first time on a stream, and I understand it can be stressful. <laughs> Take a deep breath, it's gonna be okay. Can you give me one minute to get some water? <sighs> yes, please I go get, get my, some water. I, hear, I, I think that would be very good for you. Go curious. get some water, go, one go. Thank you, God bless. is this might actually be Milo I don't know Well, yeah, but Space Pirate Captain, I already did that, though. I already did that, though. I already acknowledged that. I've literally talked about that. Hey, that's great, Catherine. I would love to hear it.
Does he? I don't know. I didn't catch that. I've been focusing on uh, the lack of arguments, but. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yes, both will be. We'll have to we'll have to cut this one out and then continue the vegan thing afterwards. Hello, Queen. I'm back. Hello. You're you are welcomed back at ease, my subject. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so how about this? How about we start this maybe over? Maybe I'll do the initial framing, right? Maybe I'll do the argument since you are so like, we'll say flighty, maybe unwilling to take like a firm position. I mean, um, the fact, I think my you already my had that opportunity, but, uh, but like, if you wanted to start over, like, uh, like starting over I, again I, I can with the, the same the level of like smug, <laughs> like smug waste, like time wasting. Everything back. I think is so uncontroversial. This is so insane. Everything I think sure, is so like, massively uncontroversial. uncontroversial. I mean, here's like the general, the general capitalist worldview of like why the USSR are failed, right? So you have two systems of governments. You have one that allows capital to flow freely, flow freely. Mm -hmm. um, one that doesn't. One outcompetes the other. What's okay. wrong with that? Wait, flow freely? You're you're yes. talking about a very specific form of ca of capitalism, laissez-faire capitalism. If we're, are we discussing like complete open market capitalism? Like what what type of what type of thing are we talking about here? You see, now why do I have to take up a uh, specific here? What you you just said what, what you mean? wanted to determine the framing, so I'm asking <laughs> for clarification. What the fuck? Do you not know what you came here for? Okay, well, so well, okay, well, so you're, you're so pedantic. We will that's say in general. That's not pedantry. Wait, no, what wait, do you okay, mean? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Do you literally think there are only two types no of, of economies that have ever existed? Do you literally think that? Do you really think there is just capitalism and communism and there's no variation among those things? I'm literally trying to generalize like half of humanity, okay? We're going to say generally capitalist, okay? We're not talking about the nitty gritty. We're not talking about minute details. Okay, so we're we going to talk about, in we, general. We get bogged down okay. in some like obscure knowledge that really no one gives a fuck about. Sure. Yeah, let's talk about I mean, generality. But I will say, as a note, uh, this we're not talking about obscure knowledge. We're talking about the actual function of these systems, which I think is actually kind of important to understand. Uh, I know that like it is comforting to like wrap yourself in like a blanket and like pretend that the world is like a fairy tale where there's a big bad dragon of communism that you can slay with your sword of, of free market but that's not really how things work being played. yeah i mean I, I i am literally like standing atop the dragon really okay do you think that america yeah. do you think america is in like a good place right now do you think that like all of the cap capitalist countries in the world are in a good place right now um i look across the world and i see millions lifted out of poverty yeah the world's doing pretty good how do you how do you feel Why? about uh capitalist brazil right now a country in which uh a vast a vast swath of the population literally lives in uh, uh, in favelas where they're constantly broken down uh cracked down upon by a military police how do you feel about capitalist mexico a country where uh half the country is torn in half because of uh, of of capitalist fueled um drug cartels that are literally waging war a civil war within the country like you're you're if you're trying to split the world into capitalists and communists, and we're going to be highly, highly reductive and like blue team, red team, and not break this down at all, I don't think that your that the uh, record is going to look very good for capitalism, because capitalism has only brought a very specific certain group of people out of poverty, and that's very, very, millions very, of poor people. very hundreds of millions of poor people yeah, I in guess, the southern world. How, do you want to know people how? People of they, color do you know in how, the world lifted me. out of poverty. Did you? Did and you, I'm being lectured by a white leftist. Me. About how they're about how them being lifted out of poverty is in fact maybe a double edged sword. I mean, on one end you're not starving, but on the other end there's like inequalities, you know, um, which of course is like a flaw in my system. The fact that my system is not a perfect system is a flaw in and of itself. Wait, because we are of course. But you are willing. Time. But do you see how this is double think? You are willing to hold that against any failure of any state that claims to be communist counts against communism but and, but now you're saying now when it's your turn any failure even the mass failure the horrific abject failure. poverty yeah of capitalism is is somehow yeah, excusable millions out of poverty development Wait, worldwide you, the global and, south and what did like, i say what did i say i have a very yeah, very specific critique of this which is that it has only brought very specific <clears throat> people out of poverty and guess what it has put many many others in poverty this has been something that's been critiqued about capitalism for a very long time that capitalism finds po pockets of the world that it pushes into essentially slavery and those people are exploited in order to bring other people maybe a little bit out of poverty but 
again, it's very select. And guess what? The main beneficiaries of the system of capitalism is not everyone by any means at all. In fact, the, the main beneficiaries of capitalism are objectively, mathematically, and this is even according to capitalist theorists, the very top percentage of the world, people like Jeff Bezos, people like uh, Bill Gates, people like, uh, you know, these these multi-billionaires who are able to uh, amass incredible amounts of wealth, those are the people who benefit the most from this system. And even if some people, uh, some s select groups of people are lifted out of poverty, we have to ask how you even define poverty because that is actually a huge issue in when we're discussing capitalism. A lot of people in, say, for example, China um, have been lifted out of poverty by means that they now receive a wage when they didn't receive a wage before. However, they would have owned a farm before that was theirs that they got to farm off of, but now they've had to move in to a tenement building where they're living in a in a two by two room uh working at a factory which technically they're out of poverty now by the you know by whatever standard the un uses so, for being out of poverty. no it's this just, is a, it's, how it's how is just it? not true wait wait okay, okay. You, you can you, say you, it's you just not true but do you have any actual evidence of that or is this just years ago people in china were fucking starving to death by the millions you're saying well people are starving years ago, to death they, in america they right farms, now they were starving to death can we start from that like uncontroversial? I don't know. Do you have actual? Do you have any actual evidence of that? The Great Leap Forward, Mao Zedong. Like, isn't it like the, the worst fucking like genocide? And even not genocide. It's like mass death in human history. Uh, yeah, but wasn't that caused? Yeah. Wasn't that ignited caused by a famine? Caused, caused by what? Caused by what? A famine? Isn't that what a ignited famine? the oh, entire oh, revolution? Oh, oh, a, a, a famine that was pre-existing that came from feudal China. Isn't that no, what? Remember, they were, they... Wait a second. So wait, hold on. So hold on. Wait, 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 like for example, I don't know, like like like, uh, like more of the like, like central planning under a certain economic system what? called communism no, in like, China. Like a, Mao Zedong, like, that one maybe. Like a literal natural disaster, or a war, what? or do these things have no bearing, or is, Wait, do you just live I, in a fantasy I, land where I everything, think, where every I, bad thing is caused you, by communism? Are you ignorant about this? Are you ignorant? Do you know what the Great Leap Forward is? I do know what the Great what Leap Forward is. What caused the Chinese famine? I mean, I don't know the specifics of what caused the Chinese famine. No, Mao Zedong saying, hey, everyone, um, instead of doing all that stupid farming shit, go ahead and make steel. Oh, the steel doesn't work. Oh, you abandon your farms. Collective okay. farming fails. Oh, everyone okay. dies. Ha ha. I mean, that's Funny your, joke. this is your, like, your... Uncontroversial, again, by the way. Your, Uncontroversial your, this is like, again, hold history. on a second, though. This is your, like, your child storybook version of whatever you're saying. I'm saying that, like, I'm not a historian on China. I don't know what caused this specific famine. I'm guessing probably... I'm planning. guessing, I'm guessing Which that is... real Realistically, just I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say, you're probably, owning yourself. Oh I'm just my saying, God, can you so shut the fuck up? Like, can you shut the fuck up? Like, I'm actually trying to comment, and you're like done <laughs> doing this story, like storybook bullshit. Um, oh my God! The uh, the this what ain't I, it, sis. This ain't it. What ain't it? This. Is that an is that an own? Is that, is that your idea um, of like an own? You're, you're you're owning yourself here. I guarantee that. But go on. Okay. Is that okay, like but, but, is that like how you minute. is that wait, like wait, how wait, the wait, dragon of, of communism? Don't, don't pivot. Don't pivot. Don't wait, is the spirit of communism in, in the room with you right now? Let's stay on subject, please. Can you describe to me mm -hmm. how a failure in central planning under a Chinese communist government, Mao Zedong, causing mass famine and death, how that is not the fault of communism? It sounds like it's the fault of Mao Zedong the communist leader of the country yeah, so um how is let me ask you this how is uh oh, how is hold on no, no, wait, 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 hold on pivot, let me ask you pivot, wait, 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 wait. this is not a pivot let me ask I you a, let me ask you off. let me ask you a a question similarly okay okay that will follow your logic okay how is okay. uh how is the the palm oil industry which regularly involves the 
rape and murder of children in the modern day right now as currently going what on. About uh, excuse me. No, no, no. I'm what asking you. Them? Wait, wait. You're no, no. so weaselly. This is not weaselly. So weaselly. This is a simple question and you literally cannot engage with it. It's pathetic. You're not engaging. Yeah, you're pivoting. You're this doing what I'm I'm no, literally. You, say you this asked bad. me. You asked me. Those you asked so me. Bad. For some... I'm cringing, my oh darling. My God. I'm cringing. <laughs> uh, this ain't it. Can this you, is not can it. Can you stop your your smuckling? It's really embarrassing. Like, it's actually <laughs> oh making god. me embarrassed for you. My god. So I have a sip of You've water. You've done it again. Please. Please. <laughs> you're sending me. You are sending me. Continue. Okay. Oh. Um, you, you give a random event and you claim a bunch of presuppositions, which I've literally said I'm not a historian on, on China. And I, my argument is that I don't think that it's uh, a, as simple to boil down a historical event and say, oh, this is because of communism as like it's a specter. When you, when I don't know, I don't know what the preconditions leading up to that shit was. I don't know if there were people, as I understand it, and now again, I'm no expert on, on Chinese history, never have claimed to be, never talk, but almost never actually talk about China because I don't fucking live there and I'm not a historian on China. Um, uh, but you were so, excuse me. About, oh my you god, are, are you for me. real? You are I'm talking to me you. about communism. I'm you don't know the right largest communist. All right, this is easy. Okay, I, I muted him for a second. I, I recognize that like he's he's trying to, he's like really feeling himself and getting those smuckles on, but I need to be able to answer at all. Uh, Louis Vuitton, not right now because it, it d literally doesn't matter. Fact of the matter is, um, yeah, please, please keep seizing in chat. It's pathetic. You know that if you stop talking, I can I can unmute you, right? You done? <laughs> oh, you're still not done. He's still not done. All right, so we're gonna let him calm down for a second here. This is really pathetic. Um, but yeah, it's uh, like I've never once claimed to be a, some sort of historian on China. I have a feeling there might have been some material conditions that may have motivated the uh, revolution that happened there. But, you know, let's just pretend. Let's just pretend that your version is uh, is the correct version. Look at the super chat. I will uh, in a minute. Um, but let's pretend that your storybook version is the correct version. So what? So China failed? And? Can you hear me? Am I unmuted now? You're unmuted now. Yes. Oh my I god. I muted you because it was unbelievable how pathetic you were being. And I needed to actually be able to have a chance to respond on my own fucking show. You are you are dripping of vitriol, my darling. Please let's tone mm, it down. No, I just think you're really <laughs> annoying and pathetic. <laughs> oh. So the the yeah. girls are hateful today. The girls are hateful. Listen, I want to bring you on what? a central point. You basically when I began this conversation, you said Can you explain well, I don't can you want to explain what you meant by that? Wait, hold on, before we move on, can you explain what you meant by that? Wait. Yeah, can you can you explain what? what you meant when you said something about girls are hateful? I said the girls are hateful. What what does that um, mean? Oh, that means you are you are being hateful towards me. You so the I'm girls being... just means like it just like you came in here calling me a t uh, a an, like a genocide apologist and a tank, and you think I'm the one being hateful? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, well, obviously, I think apologizing for genocide is a pretty hateful thing yeah, to good do, thing don't I you? Good thing I never did that, right? Good thing you literally No, you just offer, on that you just offer like his endless apologetics. Good, good, and thing, good thing you failed on that immediately. Context. Yeah. So, this is it. Um, go this ahead, is go ahead. I, I'm glad you clarified on that, that you, you really don't like girls. Okay, so when we, began this, when we began this little dance of ours, you said that I don't want to talk about communism. That's too, like, too broad, too vague. Um, that's not what I said, now actually. Now I like, Hmm. But now it's just like, no, I don't. Okay, so I say, let's talk about one country in particular. Let's talk about China. Sure. Why well, don't want to talk about China? I don't know China. What's the largest communist country? Hmm. Well, I know communism. I can defend communism. I can't defend communism broadly. I can't defend the largest communist country. Um, what position do you actually hold? Or is this all just like some sort of like weird performative show to get super chats from like your mentally ill audience? Like, what's up, Zez? Excuse me? What did you just say about my audience? Oh, mentally ill. Yeah. That's really fucking shitty, dude. But yeah, um, I mean, is is it not true? Oh, dude, you're really pissing me off now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kick you out if you're gonna do that stupid shit. But um, but like, the, 
what's that is it not allowed to, i mean we don't generally prefer ableism but i especially don't like it when people come onto my chat i mean come onto my show to like weird take weird pot shots at my audience and and your say stuff like that your audience is literally fucking like i think, rapid I think fire i'm not going to i'm not going to lie right now like given the conversation that we've had if there's anyone in this entire conversation who i would think is mentally ill it's you you literally seem incapable of actually parsing out ideas <laughs> your sentences don't actually link to one another you don't actually engage in good faith you seem to be obsessed with this weird Wait, why is it fine when you say it then huh? Wait, why is it okay for you to call me mentally ill no because then? i actually think you are and i'm about an inch away from ending this conversation because i think at this point that i don't actually feel comfortable engaging with somebody like you this is cope by the way this you, is massive you cope you think that take the l mama are, take the l are you are you okay this is like one of the weirdest things i've ever engaged with in my entire life like i've i've engaged with a lot of really weird people but this is one of the weirdest things i've i've um, ever seen yeah i do think it's pretty weird i think it's weird that you don't know about communism you don't know about no. the largest communist I mean, I country know you don't communism. know what you're talking about this some weird performative activism I mean, um it, it seems weird like it seems like what you've done this entire time is that you've come in and desperately attempted to assert your your like very very strange and disconnected from reality worldview you seem to have no real interest in actually engaging with any of my ideas whatsoever excuse me i'm not finished do i need to mute you again okay i'm gonna mute you again because i can understand that you're struggling to follow basic uh basic like conversational rules um so you're muted again just so you know don't bother talking you're talking to no one which i feel like might be somewhat normal for you okay now listen, you came in here, you called me a whole bunch of names, you called my audience a whole bunch of names, you accused me of genocide apology, it immediately had to backtrack on that claim because you didn't actually have any evidence for it. Uh, you've proceeded to... Um, you've proceeded to make a whole bunch of claims about random stuff uh and then you tried to pivot away to something else to talk about capitalism and then i tried to talk about capitalism and you pivoted to china now we're talking about china and i say i don't know the exact history of every event that happens in china but my original claim was that it's a mistake to to erase over all of history and boil down entire nations to a single event which you are still trying to do right now so I'm going to unmute you for a second. You can have your turn to respond, okay? You're unmuted now. Are you okay? You doing good? But it's quite weird because you were, of course, the first one to bring up China as an example to dunk on me. I then when I, I then I? when you come up against a master of the Sino themselves, you immediately mm, I don't like, think start I did that. I think I, I think I, I don't think I did that. We can rewatch the VOD though. No, you were talking do you have about. Anything, do you have anything substantive to continue to talk about, or is this just going to be you like, I don't know, saying weird shit? And... Okay, okay. We, 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 we can get away with this. We, we've established that a communist leader causing mass death is not well, attributable thing. to communism. We've got that. Oh, terrible, we've yeah. got that down. Yeah. That is I not mean, I, don't about, I don't know about you, but I never, I've never been, I've never sat here like being like, I love Mao Zedong. I've never. No, once... but you're just endlessly apologize for him. Nope. Didn't for do that. Never, never happened. That literally never happened. I would love to see you find an example of that. I mean, oh. I don't even, you, like, like, you're not even aware of the things you say. I think you might think just I'm actually pretty, be ignorant. I think I'm I think actually pretty aware of what I say. I think you, you might you be, say, I mean, hold you on say a second, though. Experiment with, like, all my natural things. That's literal tanky post-history no, rephrasing of, an, like, an uncontroversial no, it, no, it, event. No, it isn't. This is, like, tanky discourse you're engaging in, No, it right? isn't, actually. Not, a, not even close. Mm -hmm. Not the even close. The fact that Mao Zedong's great leap forward caused a mass like genocide like hundreds of millions of deaths did it cause is a, literally it a genocide on I don't know. like I, I i'd have to learn more about that like again uh i i don't i don't sit here fucking making apologia for for uh mao zedong ever i never have just, i don't think you, i would love no, for just, you to find a, he operated okay so it should be really easy for you to find a clip can you find a clip of that okay you know you just apologize for the system i never apologize for any uh, wait this is okay. Hold on a second. Let's wait, what? let's what do you just, what do you just wait, wait. Let's talk, let's go back. Um, because okay, go we're, back. we're rewinding rewind. and you're like resetting back to a conversation we already had. I don't advocate for Maoism. <laughs> I have never advocated for Maoism. Unlike you, I don't think that communism is anything that I don't like. You seem to basically say anything I don't like is communism and therefore it's all bad. I believe. And I also don't believe this about capitalism, by the way. I don't believe that capitalism is everything that I don't like. 
Um, I believe that capitalism is a very complicated socioeconomic system that has a lot of problems, and I oppose it for a couple of very specific reasons. And I think that communism is likewise a very complicated set of socioeconomic worldviews, and some of them I support, and other ones I don't. You came in here accusing me of being a tanky and all kinds of things, and then you immediately had to back off of that. Now, I've already summarized this twice for you. So now that we're back at this point, can you acknowledge that you came in here with a fuckload of allegations, none of which have stuck at all because they're not factual. You um, don't know anything about my views. You've never actually tried to understand them. Although well, you're on I, my I show. Do, I do. Sorry, go on. Although you're on my show, you've come in here and you haven't actually made a single attempt to understand a single one of my views. I mean, I did clarify that I said, maybe you're not an outright tanky, but you're definitely tanky adjacent. You certainly don't tanky use adjacent. tanky arguments. I don't use that tanky arguments. That is being so whipped out like, I mean, wildly here. I mean, what, what do you think is a tanky, what is, what is a quote unquote tanky argument? We will say revisionism. We will say, saying that what a historical wrong happened under a system did not happen. What revisionism? Saying that actually, the Great Leap Forward, that was a pre-existing famine, which you were no. really looking to dunk on me I, on. I earlier, literally, I didn't even, I didn't, I never even said that. I said, I don't know. Okay, this is hilarious. But again, you don't even remember what actually happened. When you brought that up, I said, I don't know the exact history, but I have a feeling there's probably some material conditions that inspired, that inspired the Great Leap Forward that I would yeah. need to understand before I would be able to pass any sort of, do, do you believe that like, that like you just don't, you can just make up history and it could be whatever you want? Or do you believe that history has to be studied? I mean, I'm just trying to really oh nail you God. on this. You're, you're, I, see, I, you I, I think it's very weaselly, clear. But here we go again. So again, I ask you again, you weasel <laughs> all the fuck over the place, but what is the actual allegation you're making? What tanky adjacent argument did I even make? That, okay, wasn't, that isn't so you, you making you, one up. You started this conversation. No, answer the question, dude. Daddy. Stop it. Yes. Answer the question. What tanky adjacent position have I argued for at all? You have engaged in wild revisionism. No, I haven't. Apologetic. I just showed you that was incorrect. And we know no, because we can go review the VOD. left and right whenever I talk to you. I don't know, dude. This is like, this is tanky 101. You're definitely in the tanky sphere, undeniably. Okay. Um, and I think many of your so, audience, from what so I'm seeing, the wild shit in chat, this is, is some, like, tanky ridiculous. Adjacent, so this um, is what it comes down to. You don't actually have an argument at all. I've now asked you, this is the third time I've asked you to make a single argument, and all you do is go, you're definitely a tanky. You're definitely in the what? tanky sphere with whatever, like... There's no, there's no, <laughs> you're asking me to make comments, <laughs> to make comments on you. You I'm not came all in here to accuse me of things. I would assume that if you were going to make accusations of me on a public platform in front of an audience, that you would know even a little bit about what you're talking about. I've listened to what you've done. This is what I've seen. Apologetics, oh. revisionism, all of which you have empirically done. No. Go over the VOD. Mm. I encourage you to. Sure. Because you've engaged in Can these you, actions Wait, hold on a second. Listen, times. listen. You, 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 you're saying this. You're making an accusation. But then when I ask you, can you give me a specific, I then respond and show you that that is not even close to the argument I'm making. All you're doing is 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 asserting that you're right and I'm wrong. You're saying, I'm right, I'm right. That's all you're doing right now. You're just asserting that you're correct, but you don't actually have a single piece of evidence for that. Otherwise, it would be easy for you to pinpoint something that I did. I never made apologia for any I never made apologia for any fucking authoritarian regime. In, in fact, I would say the only one that you could make the argument I've done, quote unquote, and I would say it's very, very questionable to call this apologia, is pointing out the fact that Cuba is has actually had some success on the metrics that it set out to do. And it's not fair for the vegan person who we were talking about originally to just erase every country that's ever had any success with a system different than hers in the name of making some bullshit embarrassing argument that doesn't even have evidence for it so yeah listen, i mean listen here demonic mother mm -hmm. i would be happy to come back another time and a more specific topic yeah i don't think so i, I, think, no. I think it's clear to anyone no, who's being like so. watching pretty objectively no you've burned no i don't out. think so your yeah. ego has been pretty bruised um you're bleeding you're wounded and I think I've really, I, I think know. I've really I've actually got, like, I've got had fucking four hours of stream after this. I've, what are you going to do? I like slab of meat from you. You're going to go, so you're going to go, you're going to go have a quick hands, sad wank and, 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 uh, you know, and call it good for the day. You know what, Queen? You can have your post-game commentary. I'm not interested. I have had my slab of meat. Um, have me on another time. I'll be glad to talk later. I don't think God so. Bless. I don't think we will. I, I, I feel okay. like, I feel like it might not be good. Um, good night, my yeah. darling. Hey, he left. Well, yep, left the call. I didn't. I didn't kick him. Left the call. 
Well, that was dumb. But I had a fun time. <laughs>